You know, after 20 years of being behind the bar, I've heard it all. 20 years? What about me? I'm in front of the bar. You have a problem with women, life, men, relationships. If you need advice, whether you want it or not, we have got you covered. On the Dear John Show. And James. And James. John? James, how are you? Good. What you reading? Actually, you came at a good time. This is a, a Dear John request. Do you want me to read it to you? Please. All right. Uh, Dear John, my boyfriend has a 24-7 outside loud voice. How do I get him to quiet the bleep up? She's very passionate about this. <laughs> Should I wrap his head in duct tape, cover his mouth when he speaks, constantly give him the shush signal, try to talk louder, which is nearly impossible, ignore him and only respond when he talks normally, buy myself a microphone, help Dear John. That's a dilemma. It is a dilemma. It requires a drink, I think. I think so. What do you be having? Surprise me. Are you surprised? What the heck is that? It's kind of cloudy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, actually, that's a uh, unpasteurized wheat beer. Most beers, because they try and distill them and refine them properly, they try and take all of the sort of sediment out of the beer. It looks bad. It's really not bad for you, but it's just a look thing. And it actually takes some of the flavor out. So in recent sort of history, a lot of the beer makers are going back the old way and trying to bring in the sediment or sort of taste, if you will, back into the beer. So they leave them somewhat unpasteurized, unfiltered. So they're not filtering it all the way through so it's a completely clear beer. So that beer, being a wheat beer, should actually have a little more flavor of wheat than most beer. What do you think? It's wet and cold and delicious? Ah. Well, we've actually got a question to answer here. We better get on. Right. Tough one, albeit. Well, I like option D, the microphone. Right. But those of us who kind of don't like obnoxious loud people, option A, the duct tape, is a very, very enticing offer. First of all, you have to understand, this is two people in sort of thing. If you guys don't want to work on this together, it's not going to work in the first place. And you don't want me and James to give you that type of counseling. So that aside, assuming you both want to work on it, there are ways around this. My parents always had this little sign they would have. If my dad was saying something silly that embarrassed my mom, she'd always just sort of move her hand up her face and do one of these. I think one of the best things to do is create your little sign, and when you're doing it, or when he's doing it, make sure you do the little ear pull or the eye whatever, so you're not calling him out, but he's going, oh, right, I'm being a bit loud. I think that would work. What do you think, Jim? I think you get louder and clearer in the moment. So you're saying scream louder to make sure that he can hear you and that this is- Hey, good he's idea. already doing it. All right, that's very good. I appreciate that. <laughs> this is why I don't like James. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. I don't like a loud voice for your submission. If you have a question for James. Or John at the Dear John Show. You can put your comment on the Blind Beggar Pub's Facebook page. And cheers.